Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it for another version of Express Court. So today's Express Court, we're actually diving into Corbin Cash. So Corbin Cash is a, uh, a distillery out of, of uh, the state of California. So they're like in Northern California, up near uh, Atwater. And when you think about Corbin Cash, first and foremost, I should say thank you to uh, Corbin Cash for sending these samples bottles over for review. Thank you very much. So when you think about Corbin Cash, I think about like, think about like either like Frey Ranch or starlight so they truly are farmers for the first hundred years you know since well gosh since 1917 their family has been farming in california so over a hundred years you know truly farming and in the last decade or so they made the transition where they're still farming however now they're using some of their grains to produce spirits and most important to what we like whiskey <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's truly everything about Corbin Cash, uh, the Souza family who's been running it. I, again, I've heard nothing but great things about Corbin Cash. I've just I've never had a chance to try it until now. So again, thank you for the samples, uh, Corbin Cash. So when you think about Corbin Cash, for me, I think about a couple of things. Number one, availability. I've never seen Corbin Cash on the East Coast. So I assume if you're out in California, maybe even like neighboring states in the West Coast, you probably can find uh, Corbin Cash. But I do know if you go directly to their website, which I'll put here, you can definitely find their products online. All right, so they make, um, of course, like, you know, many other, whenever a company decides to make spirits, they always make, which they do as well, a vodka, they make a gin, um, they also even make uh, a sweet potato liqueur, which sounds very interesting. <laughs> I might have to buy that just for another day for my own self. I love sweet potato, so why not? Um, but of course, what we're most interested in, they make a bourbon and a rye. All right, let's dive into it real quick. Let's dive into these bad boys. So I'm, let's start with the bourbon. So the bourbon, so the bourbon itself is aged. Oh, wow, this is an interesting nose. The bourbon itself is aged four years. And the bourbon is a small batch barrel proof. So blending it together, but it's a small batch barrel proof coming in at 106 proof, at least for my bottle. So 106 proof, age four years. You might be wondering why is the proof so low if it's barrel proof? So their barrel proof is for them is lower because they have a lower entry uh, proof like into going into the barrel. So that's gonna produce a lower proof as a whole for the most part. Wow, 106 proof, interesting. It's a very interesting nose. Now, one thing about the bourbon and the rye, they're both $65 for the half bottles, the 375 milliliter. So a little bit expensive. Uh, for a full 750 milliliter, a full size bottle, they're $100. So 65 for the half or $100 for a full 750 milliliters. So a little bit on the pricier side, but hey, we're talking about barrel proof whiskey at the same time too. All right, so from a nose standpoint, this is a very interesting, unique nose. I'm getting a lot here. This is like, uh, this kind of reminds me of like, um, like you know when you make like fresh uh, made bread, like fresh baked bread, it has like very much like very much like baking spices with it. So tons of baking spices. Interesting. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of apples, and a little bit of honey. So it's like caramels, apples, and honey, but mixed in with a lot of baking spices. Very unique on the nose. Not your traditional, like there's no leather, there's no... Um, there's not a ton of uh, even like um, like brown sugar. Definitely some caramel, but not no leather, no brown sugar. Very interesting nose. All right, sixty-five dollars. Woo, a little expensive. We shall see, friends. We shall see. I will say, I did dump out a good bit actually to throw in my infinity bottle just to let these bad boys kind of air out. So they've had a couple days now. We're gonna dive right into them. Here we go, friends. Cheers. Oh, well, that's mighty interesting. Let me get a little bit more before I give its own judgment on the bourbon. Okay. So, a couple of things. Number one, the proof on this bad boy is 106, but this actually sips hotter. It sips closer to like maybe like 115 proof. Um, what's unique about this is that everything from the nose matches the palate. The caramel, the uh, the honey, and the apples, and those baking spices are all there, and it is a nice long finish. 
very interesting. So the question is, Judge, at $65, am I going directly on the website now, buying a bottle of this for $65 for a half bottle or $100 for a full bottle? Judgment is in. This is a split decision. Hear me out. I like this whiskey a lot. I really do. The reason why I'm giving this a split decision, I'm, I'm going to say go ahead and look for this at a bourbon bar. Most bourbon bars carry almost like a little bit of everything. So look for this at a bourbon bar. Try it first before you buy it. Or if you have a buddy that has a, a bottle of it, ask he or she, hey, can I get a sample? Right? That's all what this whole whiskey uh, industry is all about. We all kind of share and kind of help each other out. It's very unique. The reason why I also wanted to give it a split decision is because... Again, this is not a traditional bourbon. So a lot of times people are looking for like that, almost like that stag junior kind of, uh, you know, palette, like that brown, you know, uh, burnt uh, brown sugar, very deep maple syrup, very like just traditional deep, deep bourbon. This is not that. This is excellent, but it's in a league of its own. I like it personally. So for me, this bottle is not going to last long, but it's not for everyone. So definitely try this at a bar first or from a friend. But the quality of the whiskey is definitely there. Hear me out. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just slightly different. All right. Let's dive into the rye. Mm. So the rye, same price point, $65 for half a bottle, $100 bucks for the full-size bottle. Now, what's unique about the rye is a couple of things. So they use something called Merced rye, which is what they grow on their own farms as well. And the Merced rye is apparently like a very unique type of a rye. Now I will say from a proof standpoint, now this is what we think when we think of barrel proof. This comes in at 133 proof. Yes, 133. Woo! <laughs> and look at the color from the bourbon to the rye. Look how much darker the rye is. Another key difference is not only the proof being 133, where this is 106, um, but another key difference is their rye, apparently they age their rye a little bit longer, up to about six years on average. And I will say this, their rye mash bill is a 100% rye mash bill. So it's 100% pure Merced rye, nothing else. There's no 95.5 going on here, folks. This is pure rye whiskey. Here we go. Woo, man. Jeez, Louise, this is interesting. So, just like the bourbon, you can, at least for me, I've only been able to find this online at their website, truly. This nose is extremely interesting. It's about three or four different things. I get a ton of like, of course, obviously it's a rye, and 100% rye, a ton of like black pepper. I get a ton of like, almost like a burnt cherry meets like a burnt, strawberry kind of a note there's like some deeper darker fruits in there and i'm getting like those deeper darker fruits but more of like a almost like a burnt almost like a caramelized uh cherry and a caramelized strawberry note that's, that's kind of mixing in with the pepper very unique and very interesting Woo! wow it's kind of funny because this is a straight rye whiskey there's no finish but the nose almost has a nose like it's almost like there is a finish, like a, a wine finish. But hear me clearly, there's no wine finish. This is just a pure rye whiskey. But I guess all of those um, all of those fruits are kind of coming together to make it seem like it almost is finished. But it's not. All right, folks, here we go. Hey, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on Corbin Cash. And last but not least, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Wow. That is very different. So there's a couple things. Number one, everything from the nose transfers to the palate. All of that like those darker fruits, like those um, burnt, like kind of cherry notes and burnt strawberry notes and the pepper, all that blends in very much. And that is a very nice long finish. What's interesting is, about it is that it's a long and bold finish, but it's not like knock you out. To me, this reminds me of, and again, this is not a finished rye whiskey, but this reminds me of, imagine um, from um, uh, High West Distillery, a midwinter's nice strand. Imagine if that was at cast strength, 
Imagine a cast strength version of a Midwinter's Ice Dram. This is what I would envision that this would taste like. This is essentially kind of what it tastes like. It has like the, those notes of sweet fruit notes, but peppery and spicy at the same time, blended very well. And for truly a 100% rye whiskey that's not finished, you asked, Judge, look at that. Cap came off. Guess he doesn't want me to pour more. Is this a buy, a do not buy, or a leave it on the shelf? Friends, I am here to tell you that is too gavel good. <laughs> This, my friends, is damn near amazing. This bottle may not last another week. I don't know if this is going to last another two days. That is that special. Make sure you definitely check this out, and I guarantee you will love this bottle. I'm definitely going for another pour. Might be time for you to get a bottle of this bad boy because it is just that damn good. Hey, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Wow, Susan family, goodness gracious. Mm. Woo! This is delicious. Peace.